I've got loads of your clothes. I'm off to Manchester with orders for a couple of players on either side of the city's football divide. Ferran Torres of Manchester City. Mm, me gusta me gusta. And Diogo Dalo of Manchester United. He was my role model. Since I remember playing football, it's fantastic for, for the club to have a, a player like this in our team. We're in a massive rush here to get to Ferran. We've literally got to get there quickly, drop the stuff, go, and then go to Diogo. I really hope we get there in time. My name is Sam. I'm 20 years old and I run a very exclusive service for some very exclusive clients. I've always had a head for business, from when I started selling sweets to my mates in the playground. But today, I deal in a different kind of treat. Garms of all descriptions to some of the world's biggest football stars. If I meet the Eiffel Tower in 24 hours. I work with some of the biggest ballers in the world, even the GOAT. If there's something exclusive or hard to get, I'm the guy they call. So I've just had two orders come in in the space of about half an hour. One from Diogo Dallo from Man United and one from Ferran Torres from Man City. Diogo's just sent his order through. I know he's been discussing about it for like a week or so, but he's now pulled the trigger. He's got a Drew tracksuit. He's also got that Dior CD coat. He's got a nice black LV belt for his girlfriend. He then got some boots as well from Dior. There's a Dior bracelet and necklace matching gold one, which is the classic CD print. Diogo's ordered a lot of stuff for his girlfriend as well as himself. He's quite a sensible boy. He looks after his girlfriend, looks after his mum. Also, there's actually another order coming through at the moment from Ferran. He's sending so much stuff through from the broadcast like last time. Okay, mate. If we're going to Manchester on Friday, I can do it all at once. So, it's going to be tight. There's loads of different stuff that we have to sort, so it's a tough ask to get it in two days. Since I started my business, I've been shopping with Louis Vuitton from the start, and whether it's third party or direct, I don't know exactly how much I've spent, but it must be close to a million. I remember Bamiyan got a jacket off me. It was a mint jacket, Louis Vuitton, which was 20 grand. Between both orders, there's probably around 40 items. This isn't an easy task. There's a lot of stuff to sort in a short amount of time. So I've spoken to Luke. We've sorted pretty much everything. On our way to um, Manchester to see Diogo Dallo and Ferran Torres. But there's a bit of an issue because Ferran's got a very tight schedule today. So we're gonna have to drop the stuff off to Ferran really quickly. And then we're gonna make our way to Diogo. It's a bit of a mad one today as well because there's all this talk about Cristiano Ronaldo. He's being linked with the move to Manchester City and he's a bit of a Manchester United legend, isn't he? So it's causing a bit of controversy and we're going to be in the hometown Manchester today. So I'm sure it's going to be buzzing everywhere. He's looking like he's going to join City today. We're in a massive rush here to get to Farrahan. I mean, we've literally got 15 minutes to get to him and he's about 15, 20 minutes away. 
he's got training at 2.30 and I can't make him late. He's got a game tomorrow and if he's late, he'll probably not even be in the squad. Footballers' lives are very regimented. They're always on time. Every, their whole day's planned. I don't want to be the reason they're late or anything goes wrong. I really hope we get there in time. Made it. Just. Let's be real. Me and not Abu Espanol. A little bit. I'm uh, improving my English. I can tell. The Prada? Yes, perfect. The Chanel? Yes. That's it, that's well it. That's it. So actually in here I've got loads of your clothes. What is that? I have the Balmain, the Ami. Yeah, yeah. The off-white shoes. Okay, perfect. I love off-white. Yeah. <laughs> in Spain, it's really big. Huge. You know um, Manu Lanzini? Yeah, yeah. So he's the Argentinian, I love the Argentinian. Yeah. And the Spanish boy, uh, Fornals. Fornals. Yeah. So he was there, uh, he likes his off-white. And that's almost everything. We've got a few more pairs here for you. In here, it's um, it's boxed up, but I've got, okay. two, I've got two pairs of pants in here for you. Really? Yeah. Thank you, Welcome. How do you say I love it a lot in Spanish? I, I, I love. Y, me gusta. Me gusta. Well, thank you. You too. I hope next time we have more time. 100%. So we've just dropped off to Ferran and all of a sudden it says Ronaldo signed for Man United. A few hours ago we woke up and people were saying, oh, Ronaldo's joining Man City, he's a traitor, how's he doing this? And all of a sudden, literally three hours from when we left London till, till now, he signed. It'll be really exciting to ask Diogo what he thinks about it. I think he'll be over the moon. I think having a player like that in your dressing room as well just makes the whole team go up one more level. Bro, thank you very much for having me in your home today. Welcome. Looking forward to bringing your clothes and talking about the Euros and talking about football. Let's do it. When you walked into the training ground today, what was everyone talking about? With the big news today, it's fantastic for, for the club to have a player like this in our team. Exciting for us because before we were football players, we were football fans. He was my role model since, since I remember playing, playing football. I mean, when you're around players like this, you always feel good because you know that these kind of players, they have to be in a type of mindset that it's different from, from the others. And that's why they're playing 15 years at top level, 15 years fighting for, for the best trophies in the world. For players like me that always want to learn, always want to be there to do the best things that they, they can do, it's great to catch uh, those things as well from them. So tell me, what's your style? What's your go-to? Like, what's your type of things you'd wear? I always love the sportswear kind of stuff, tracksuits, sneakers, hoodies. Now that I went to Italy, I've tried some, some new things. As you know, Italy has their own style. And I think when you start growing up, you want to try something new, always want to, to do th different things. And I, I think I've been changing some things on my wardrobe with your help, which made them uh, a little bit more easy. So you've played for three of the biggest clubs in Europe. You've played for Porto, Man United and Milan. It's a privilege playing in three completely different leagues, three completely different teams. It's been a very, very good journey and a very fun journey to, to be a part. It brings me a little bit of experience of different cultures, different teams, different leagues, different atmospheres as well. Uh, different languages? Different languages. So how many languages can you speak? I can speak uh, Portuguese, obviously very fluent. I'd like to think so. Yes, <laughs> Spanish very fluent, English very fluent, and now uh, Italy, uh, not perfect, but I can speak very well as well. That's amazing. Uh, now it's time to give you your pieces you've bought. Let's go, cool. let's do it. So let's go with the first item, the Dior hoodie. Tell me what you think of it, and tell me why you chose. This I, mean, I think you can, you can see it why I choose it. I mean, it's simple, grey. I always like to wear grey, black, white. And now we'll go with the Mary hoodie.
it's gonna be very good for, for the winter. I like the design and I think it's my first Amiri item that I bought, so I was ready Congratulations. to go with, thank you. Let's move on to the Drew tracksuit. Oh. This is perfect to go to trainings, to be at home. Like I said, I'm, I'm a tracksuit guy. And, uh, this one will, will definitely be a first choice for, for many days. I think it's so nice. It's so cozy. I was excited about this one because I've seen a lot of players and a lot of people wearing, especially the, the blue one. I chose the black one. This one is very nice. It's not too thick as well? No, it's not too hot. Maybe it's good to wear with a t-shirt. Yeah. For so this these cloudy days in, in Manchester will be perfect. Will be perfect, yeah. Now should we talk about a couple of bits you got for your girlfriend? Yes. Because this is the first out of everyone that's bought stuff for their girlfriend. I think that says a lot about you. <laughs> yeah, it says. I always like to buy some things for her. Uh, she deserves as well, so I think she will love it for sure. Oh. So the first item is a Louis Vuitton belt, which I think is really smart, but I think yes. it's also really nice. She was looking for this belt for, for a, a long time. The next item, the matching bracelet and the necklace. She likes to, to, to match purses with the, with the bracelets and necklaces, so this one will be nice for her. We have the Dior boots. She's a little bit like me. She, she loves to wear black, uh, grey, uh, white. So that's why I think we, we match pretty good uh, in terms of style and I think she, she will love it. I've seen on a lot of the Instagram stories from Paul and Fred, I think it was, yeah. that you play Luda. I heard you're good and I'd like to challenge you. We'll see if I can beat you. Yes, that's right, Ludo. Ludo is popular with Diogo and his teammates. The rules are simple. Roll the dice to move your count around the board. First one home wins. So, I would probably say two now. So you, want, you can move this one or this one? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, so I got you. Yes. Okay, I like this. Now it's come, the mental part comes in. So a Man United, who's the best? Uh, who's I the champ? I would say Fred. Fred is pretty good. Mm. Oh my god. One, two, three, four. Ah, oh, you're in. So now it's a race. Yes. It's very close. Ah, this is the worst for me. <laughs> now I need to get a one. So first to a one now. This is the one. Yeah, I win. Thank Bro, well done. My pleasure. You deserve it. Thank you for teaching me Ludo. You're welcome. Well played. Hopefully I can beat you next time. But most importantly, thank you for having me in your home. My pleasure. <laughs>